time check it's now 9.30 in the morning so this was the defective fan that we replaced the other night and let's take a look at how much wattage the inverter or solar pit inverter has so it's now at 171 recently my grid tie inverter fan sounds a little bit abnormal so i decided to tear it down okay so this is now the grid tie inverter so we'll have to check the fan on the intake fan here that's quite having an abnormal sound so we'll try to take out all the screws and check on the inside and we'll do maintenance as well for it's been almost a year or more than a year since i haven't take a look at this one okay so well, let's start. take out this fan so this fan is a 24 volt DC so really very dirty including the inside so let's try to burn it up using a blower okay so this is now the defective pan luckily i have an old inverter also that has a good fan so Let's try to use this one on the inverter. Okay, time to assemble things. So after all the cleaning and brushing it out, all the dust, this, this is now a clean inverter. So time to install the fan. So we might take a look at this uh, indicator, which side is the intake and which side is the exhaust. So I don't know if you can see this one. So here, arrow is pointing there so this will be the intake and the direction of the flow will be coming from right to left so luckily it has the same pin connector
Okay, all done. Time to reinstall. Okay, so time check. It's now 10 p.m. in the evening. I'm done cleaning this one. Placing the fan. Reconnected all the cables. And turning on the DC breaker. And this one is connected to the panels. Going to the inverter input so this one is the AC output which is 220 volts going to the convenience outlet as it is a grid tied system so we'll see tomorrow if the fan is working or not okay now the grid the inverter so time check it's now 9 30 in the morning so this was the defective fan that we replaced the other night. and let's take a look at how much wattage the inverter solar grid inverter has so it's now at 171 watts of power so this one is the energy consumption since the meter was up so this is the current this one is the voltage so to check if the fan is really working so since this side is the intake we're going to place a small amount of uh, tissue paper and let's see if the intake fan is functioning okay so it's pulling out air okay here so it's okay already so on the exhaust side the sound is already in the normal state not like the other one which had the defective fan it's quite grumpy <laughs> so this one here is the meter so it displays how much current is being drawn from the inverter and from coming from the solar how much power does it produce for the day so we'll try to compare it with the digital uh, digital one here which is a smart plug and let's check uh, on how much difference that does it make so let's take a look at here again and compare it with the uh, application from my phone okay on my phone let's open up the application to your smart here so for the two smart is this one the GPSP or the good time smart plug so grid tie inverter is on which is on the right side which is under switch one uh, this one is under switch two so it's it's not used currently so we will we will only check on the grid tie inverter on the upper right of this application we have some what a uh, meter charge here, this big here, and this is now the current reading. So, this has been the accumulation of all the energy produced. So, this is now for the month of December. So, as we take a look at here today, so today is May 16. 
currently it, it's already 51 kilowatts so today it's already 0.73 kilowatts so going back at the readings it says here voltage is 225 uh, not really that accurate with the meter here also the current is 1.1570 amperes while this one is 1800 amperes so this one is in watts while the uh, application is in milliamps that has already gone up to 199 1.99 amps to 2 amps while on the phone it's 1.8 amps so only a little difference whether which one is accurate I really could not tell so currently it's uh, <coughs> producing 428 watts for the application and inverter resets so from time to time it resets if the sun is not shining brightly especially if it's covered by the clouds okay so for now it's good since the fans are already working So ready to set up. So if you like this video then maybe share it with your friends. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.